So a few months back, I was color grading some footage lit with one of those cheap compact fluorescent arrays, and I noticed this sickly looking kind of green tinge. So upon learning this, it was clear, I needed to upgrade my lighting setup. One problem, at the time I was trying to shoot on a high key background, and to do so, you need a lot of light. Unfortunately, high CRI lights that can output around a thousand watt equivalent cost between 500 and a thousand dollars. Now, in doing my research, I came across a video by Matthew Perks over on his DIY Perks channel where he rigged up a high-powered CRI LED to a CPU heatsink. Now, with that video as motivation, I built this. I call it the H5 Frankenlight. It's a 100-watt Bridge Lux LED, and the best part is it costs only $170 to make. So for the full details on the build, be sure to check out the build video that I've linked below. Now, the reason I call it the H5 Frankenlight is because the main body is made up of the H5 CPU cooler from CryoRig. And when using high output LED chips, the biggest limitation is always gonna be cooling. With over 100 watts of power flowing through this thing, they get hot. And this large cooler provides a fair amount of surface area to dissipate that heat. However, even with a heat sink this large, you still need a fan. This heat sink comes with fan, which will keep the unit cool for hours on end, even when turning at a fairly low speed, which is something you wanna do in order to prevent fan noise from being picked up by your microphones. The light is powered by a repurposed 130 watt laptop power supply outputting at 19 volts. Now keep in mind that even though we're only putting 100 watts to the chip, you want some overhead in your power supply since you're gonna lose efficiency as you'll need to boost your voltage in order to properly drive the LED. Speaking of boosting your voltage, the electronic components that accomplish this are housed in the back in an aluminum box that also doubles as a heatsink. Now inside is a boost converter that takes the 19 volts coming out of the laptop power supply and boosts them to 34 volts required to drive the LED. Additionally, there's a buck converter that takes the 19 volts down to around five volts in order to drive the fan. Now, the exact voltage being output by the boost and buck converter can be fine-tuned using their included potentiometers, which gives you the ability to dim the light or reduce the speed of the fan. Running out of the electronics box is the power coming in from the laptop supply, as well as power running out to the LED chip and the fan. Now, I've tidied things up a bit by covering them in a braided cable wrap and some heat shrink. Now, believe it or not, this is a no-solder build, as the power cable to the LED strips snaps into place using a wiring harness provided by the manufacturer. Moving to the front of the device, you'll see that I've attached a mount that's meant to be screwed onto a speed light. Now this allows you to easily add or remove a reflector, which can then be covered with a diffuser, giving you a really nice, soft, lighted look. Now I've mounted it to a light stand by attaching an umbrella mount to a 3 8 inch thread on the bottom of the build. This allows the light to be rotated and pointed up and down. So that's a quick overview of the H5 Frankenlight. If you want to see more details on how it was built, be sure to check out the build video that I mentioned is linked below. Now in sum, the quality of the light that from these things is amazing. It's uh, this incredibly bright and the color reproduction is so good, it feels like having sunshine on your face. I've actually got two of these pointed at me right now. I've built a total of three and sufficient to say, I am really happy with how this turned out. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the build video. Thanks.